Hello, Annie here. Welcome back for another video. Now, have you ever gone outside through the day into the... I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Sunny... Sunny... Shinny? Su sunny... Shin... Sunny... Sh yeah, whatever, anyway. I've been so worried you're getting raided that you've had to run back inside again where it's safe. Log on to your computer just to check on your base. Well, you don't have to do this anymore because you can link Rust up to your mobile phone. This has been out for a little while, but there's still tons of people that don't know about it or don't know how to do it. Well, this video, I'm going to show you exactly how, step by step, so you can go outside and face the mean god of Sus... Sunishishin... Sunshinishinish. Now the first thing you're going to need is the actual Rust app. So go into your app store, it works on both Android and iPhone. Type in Rust and you want the Rust Plus app, which is just there. I've already got it installed, so I'm going to click open and it will take you onto the hub once you sign in through Steam. Now along the bottom is all the different areas once you're linked to an actual server. So I'm going to show you how to link to a server right now. All you have to do is go on to where you'd normally play a game, choose a server. I'm just going to choose a favorited server, one I really enjoy that I do most of my builds on. Join the server. Once you've joined, press escape again and it'll bring up this screen we've just been on. Click on Rust Plus and then it will show up whether it's enabled for the server. Now, I'm just going to hit resend. As soon as you hit resend, it'll flag up on your phone. And then all you have to do is pair the device. Now along the bottom where it was blank, you can actually see the information. You can turn on and off notifications. You can see what friends are online. You can see how many people are on the server, when it will wipe, all sorts of different things. You can also see the map and see exactly where you are on the map. You can also see the shops and stuff, which is pretty handy. And then if you keep going along, you can send messages to your clan friends. There's also news. And then there's a device section, which is where the little light bulb thing is. Now, I'm going to show you how to link certain devices to give you a little bit of an advantage when you're on your mobile phone. Now, there's three main components that I want to take you through today. First one is a smart switch, which is an amazing piece of kit. I'll show you why very soon. We've also got the smart alarm, which it will send a notification to your phone when an intruder enters. And we've also got a storage monitor as well. The storage monitor can go on boxes or it can go on vendor machines if you own a shop. Make sure all of these things are connected to power. So there is a couple of little nodes on the back. We're not going to go through them on this video. All I'm going to do is show you how they work and how to pair them on this video. If it is something you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll take you through some builds on these. So the smart switch is the same as a normal switch, but you can control it from your phone. So you've got the power in the bottom and you can output from the top. You've also got the switch on and switch off on the sides. For this example, I'm just going to power it into a Tesla coil. You'll see why in a minute. And finally, the smart alarm. The smart alarm will pick me up as well when I put the power in. I will show you how to rectify that. And as soon as you put power in, it'll automatically beep and that will send a notification to your mobile phone. So it's all pretty straightforward, nice and easy, it's super simple so far. Let's get the mobile phone back up in the top right hand corner and I'll show you through what you should see when you're pairing these devices. Now the storage monitor is probably the easiest one to pair because it shows up as soon as you hit E, it'll flag up on your phone, you can name it whatever you want, like box one, box two, you could call it explosive box or vending machine shot one, whatever you want. The smart switch works slightly different, you've got to keep your finger on E once it's powered up. It must be powered up to be able to pair. Once you click pair, again, it'll show up on your phone automatically, you can name it whatever you want. You can call it trap one if you're setting a trap, that's what I'm going to do now. So it's going to be called smart switch trap. I'll show you why in a second. And then finally, you've got the smart alarm. Now again, if you've got smart alarms in different rooms or if you want to know if your friend's online, if you hook it up to a HBHF sensor, you can put friends online or you can put room one or whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call it room one and I'm gonna set the actual main header to get online and then hit save and then as soon as you get notified it will flag up now along the bottom you remember the little light bulb area if you click on the little light bulb it will take you to the linked alarms now the smart alarm is showing as triggered that's because i'm stood in front of it however the storage monitor it'll show you exactly what's in the box at any one time so if someone's raiding you and stealing what's in your box you can see the things disappear 
I'm not sure if you'd want to see that or not. You can click the smart switch on. So again, you can set this up to a trap like I've done here. If your smart alarm goes off and you know there's someone in that room, you can turn the smart switch on from your phone and fry them alive. There's a million different things you can set up. This is by far the most simple. Now, as usual, I've kept the video nice and short and straight to the point. If you have learned something new or if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, feel free to hit the subscribe button and if you hit the bell notification, you will be notified when a new video releases. Remember, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see a video's thumbnail before the video is even released. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll be able to see what I'm currently working on. And every week people ask me about Patreon. Well, I have actually got a Patreon account. You can find it in the description below, as well as links to other social media sites. Feel free to check them out. If you've watched it this far, let me know you're a legend down below. And again, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Sunni Shini!